Welcome to a CyBreason video. In this video, we'll show you how CyBreason can both detect and prevent the DarkSide ransomware. DarkSide is a relatively new ransomware strain that first made its appearance in August 2020. DarkSide follows the ransomware as a service model, and like other ransomware variants, DarkSide follows the double extortion trend, which means the threat actor not only encrypts the user data, but first exfiltrates the data and threatens to make it public if the ransom demand is not paid. Let's see how the CyberReason platform can detect and prevent DarkSide ransomware. First, let's try to execute the ransomware with CyberReason's anti-malware prevention feature enabled. We can see that the malware was detected and prevented from executing. This is because the anti-malware feature recognized the malicious file. Now let's execute the ransomware without CyberReason prevention enabled. We can see the machine is encrypted, and we can also see the ransom note. Although not in prevention mode, the CyberReason platform still recognizes the process as malicious and generates a malop. Let's take a look at this malop. From the malop's management screen, we see the malop triggered by the dark side ransomware. Clicking the malop takes us to the malop details screen, where we can see more information, such as root cause, connections, timeline, and other information. Let's take a closer look at the process itself. From the Process tab, we'll select one of the executions. Here we can see the process tree, which includes the parent process and children spawned by the process, the user that executed it, the machine it was executed on, the malop it is related to, and other properties of the file, including hash, path, and reputation. We can also see the connection the process created. Here we know it tried to create a connection to a command and control server. We can also see from the process tree that this process spawned a PowerShell process. Clicking on this, we can see that it ran for a few seconds. We can also see the command line. We can also view this process tree information in the attack tree view, which shows a chain of execution. We can access all the detail we saw before from this screen as well. You can remediate and respond to malops like this from the malops management screen. Select the malop, click respond, and then malop is malicious remediate. Here you'll see CyberReason's recommended responses, which in this case is to kill the process, quarantine the malicious files, and prevent them from being executed in the future. Click respond to apply these response options. The CyberReason platform can not only detect and prevent dark side ransomware, it can show you in-depth detail about the attack, allowing you to further investigate the threat and perform remediation. 